everyone. This is Forsythia with Cacti on White. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an unboxing video for you guys. I recently placed a few orders online um, from different sources, one being Etsy. So the uh, one of the Etsy orders arrived just a few minutes ago. So um, it was the seller was WR Greenhouses on Etsy. So the box was interesting because it came from Rick Logies. So I did a little research and if you've ever bought plants online you may, or you may be familiar with Logies Greenhouse in Connecticut and they are a, a very popular plant seller. So after doing a little research, this box or this Etsy store is affiliated with Rick Logies Rare Plants. So what's in this box is a little tiny codex plant. It's called the Bonsai Mint. So I'm going to unbox that for you guys now. So I hope you enjoy this. So guys, here we are with the box. As you can see, again, a very small box. It's got paper here, little paper. So I'm in my office, so hopefully I don't make a mess. Um, but it's, a, it's one plant in this box and it's pretty small, so I probably won't make a mess. So here we go. Let's take it out, paper. And the plant's right here. Let's see. What else we have in here? I'll lay the plant down where you guys can see it. And this is basically thank you for your purchase. All right. Let's see what this one is. The invoice, probably. So, yes, WRG Greenhouses on Etsy. Um, this is a bonsai mint, Plectranthus Ernstai Codex. So it's a mouthful. So the plant was $7.95. The shipping was $11.15. And there are some taxes there. So a total of $20.68 for the order. So let's get into the plant. Wrapped really nice. Oh yeah, it's cute. It's in a little tiny pot. <laughs> so here's the little plant. As you can see. So let me take it out of the little wrapping. Definitely no dirt spillage because it's tiny. Um, wrap it. I had never heard of this plant before, actually. So it's new to me, but I'm a fan of codex plants. So usually when I'm searching online and I see a cute codex plant, I try to add it to my collection. I'll put the care instructions down below in the video, because I don't remember right off, but I basically treat all my codex with the same care. Um, when they're small like this one, I put them on a sunny window seal. Um, I let them dry out between waterings, but when I water them, I put them in, you know, definitely that has drainage. And I like to put, you know, perlite or some, a little bit of grit in the soil so it drains quickly. And I water them probably every other week or so, a good watering. Um, and then they do fine. And then as they grow and get, um, little bit more mature, I'll move them outdoors in a shaded spot that gets sun, if that makes sense. So let's take a close up look. So there you go. The leaves are velvety texture, a little rough though. It's very cute. And you can see the codex here. So that'll focus. So there you go. Let's see if it has a smell. Yeah, it has a tiny little smell similar to mint. So that's probably where it got its name from. Okay, so there we go. A little bonsai mint codex to add to my collection. All right. So if you like these types of videos, go ahead and hit the like button. Drop me a comment down below to let me know you were here. Consider subscribing to the channel. 
Um, I'm posting different types of videos on, you know, a semi-regular basis, a couple of videos a week. So I'd like to have you a part of the family and also post, uh, turn on the, the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Um, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Do you have any new Codex plants? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I'd like to know. I love to add these to my collection. I just have an affinity for Codex plants. So I'll get this one potted up here in a bit. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.